How many false promises are we gonna make? How many false promises does it take? I swear I will come through this camera, I will throw you through a freaking window. You don't take notes, you don't write sh down, and you don't change. Searching for greatness in a sea of the time, the shameless, uh, a sea of the aimless. I don't wanna be one of the nameless. I'ma wake up with the mindset that one day I'm gonna and I'm gonna tell you something, 18 years old, my manager after I sold my first car, I was in the automotive industry. Everybody write this down. I'm thinking too small. I'm thinking too small. My mind is weak. Who I'm supposed to be, I'm not because of me. At 18 years old, my manager paged me in the office. I was a car salesman. My dad, everybody told me, I knew you were gonna be a car salesman. Okay, okay, all right. I got it. I see how everybody thinks about me. Just watch, give me time. Self-development in 1999 wasn't that big. Cassette tapes and all that shit was you could buy. You guys are lucky right now. Anybody that's not a multi-multi-millionaire in the room, you're an idiot. You are screwing you. You're in the era where you can learn everything right now. My manager said I just made $1,700 my very first day on the job. I never had more than $5 in my hand at one time. Immediately. Bam, my blood flows different. My veins change. I said, all right, this is it. Sales is my way out. Like Kobe Bryant mastered basketball and he sucked, I mastered sales. Hundreds of micro skills, the way I talk, the way I look, the way I speak, the way I articulate my words, new word tracks, new language, my posture, the way I nodded my head. Everything changed overnight. I studied everybody. Everybody look around the room. Find the one that you want to look like. Find the one that you want to be like. Find someone in this world that's doing what you want to do. Are they better than you? No. Study them. Learn it. So I, I learned sales. They told me if I was the best in the industry, I can make 120 grand a year because that's what they made. I want to know what did they tell you you could earn and what you're doing now. I promise you, they're off by a long shot. Why? Because when I was 19, I made 225 grand. When I was 20, I made 500 grand. A half a million dollars a year selling cars. By the time I was 22, I made 800 grand. Everyone else is making 100 now. I need you to understand this point. I'm a young kid, everybody was asking me, hey Andy, how are you selling this much? How are you doing this? And you know what I learned? No matter how I told them I was doing it, they weren't willing to change. So it didn't matter. I continued to kill it. Now, I want you to write this down. This is the most important thing you'll ever learn in your life. Until I change, nothing changes. Now I want to tell you about a mistake I made and I know that some of you have made this same mistake and I'm going to give you a chance to correct it today. After selling, I got into leadership and I learned real fast that the only way I was going to make a lot of money as a leader was to train the people who sold underneath me to become better than me when I sold. I was like, Shit, man, wait a minute. Now I've got to train others to change like I changed. I'm going to tell you the greatest feeling that ever happened. First of all, I started to train prima donnas, the people that thought they were the best, the people that thought they were better than everybody else. And I realized these people couldn't change. And then I went to the underdog. Raise your hand right now if you're an underdog. Seriously, if you're an underdog, I want you to raise your hand right now. I want to tell you something. What I've learned is what we don't have as a kid, we crave as an adult. I never had any love as a kid, so I wanted it as an adult. I never had any money as a kid, so I wanted it as an adult. My mom abandoned me when I was a kid, so loyalty I never had, I wanted it. I crave loyalty, I crave trust, I craved uh, being financially free. I, I didn't want to be embarrassed anymore, okay? I wanted to call my own shots and to live a life that count. Now listen, I will tell every one of you, if you don't believe in you right now, I swear I will come through this camera, I will throw you through a freaking window. Because in order for you to self-sabotage your own life, that is disrespectful to God. Every one of you right now, I want you to remember this, okay? What do we do to traitors? We kill them. We kill traitors. What if you were the traitor? What if doubt was a traitor and you have doubt about you and your future? I'm going to tell you what happened next. I learned to teach. And I learned that teaching and making people great and saving people's lives and helping people felt better than the money that I was making as a salesperson. I was making less money because sometimes a promotion is really a demotion. Some of you know what I'm talking about. 
you take the old carrot yeah I'm the manager Shit, I realized that paid less but you know what I learned the way I felt when I could change someone's life when I could teach someone to sell to talk to not be shy anymore to believe in themselves when I once stuttered and I learned how to speak now I could teach others to speak get past their stuttering get past their insecurities I used to train people you'll never out earn your own self-image look in the mirror what do you see that brings me to I'm 44 years old I got 7% body fat I'm lean I've got my wife she's right here with me baby girl say what's up she's right here with me we roll together we die together we are a family hey guys what's going on it's Andy a lot of you leave comments tell me that you need help do me a favor I'm gonna tell you the best way to get a hold of me shoot me a text message right now 918-210-0254 918-210-0254 I'll help you with whatever you need I got your back for life let's get back to the video we are the, dude we are a power couple listen to me every one of you here follow me you got to get great at sales I got to know how to sell influence persuade paint pictures tell stories okay what would your life look like if you didn't take these vitamins right now we'll test it wait till two years go by you're unhealthy you get a bad doctor's report you're gonna wish you would have invested a little money in yourself okay being fit makes everything better so when I was 18 I learned I had to have a sales coach I had to have a speaking coach and I had to have an image coach I didn't get into fitness heavily until one day I got fat I didn't understand it and by the way my wife over here my amazing teacher taught me the lesson of a lifetime now by the way everybody do me a favor write this down the cold hard truth is what we need and it's what society doesn't want to tell us anymore I'm gonna ask every one of you a question would you rather me feed you ice cream like a two three four and five year old and make you feel good or do you want the cold hard truth and treat you like the badasses you want to become or you are cold hard truth good so if I was to tell you the truth the only way to get to the life that you want is going to be through fitness and I'm gonna tell you what happened next I have a nine-figure business right now we're on our way to a billion dollar business we started three years ago we, we literally get 150 million views every 28 days on social media I am doing things right now I never thought was humanly possible but I'm gonna tell you this and it's not arrogant I knew this was gonna happen because my wife one day she walked up behind me and she grabbed my love handle and I would really tell all of you to reach down and grab that love handle and that's exactly your discipline edge that's how sharp your discipline blade is I can see how disciplined you are there she goes grabbing it again I love it daily lessons but it's not there this time she said now I want to tell you what happened she walks up to me she grabs my love handle and I get pissed off first thing gentlemen I want to strike not as in hit her I want to say something back hey what's your problem you got money in your purse you got cars paid off in the driveway she goes Andy I could have got money in my purse on my own I didn't need you for that I could have had paid off cars in my driveway on my own I married you because you promised us a better life and you would always stay the the elite she goes Andy the man that I want to marry okay that I did marry you is one that was fit one that took care of himself one that was a leader to our family she goes our son is young who do you think his hero is it's the incredible Hulk it's the Hercules you don't look anything like that you're not your son's hero hateful hateful man. some of you are like I can't believe your wife would say that to you here's what I'll tell you guys write this down the truth is dark if you guys had food on your face right now they're not gonna hate you because I'm gonna tell you how we built our business I right now I'm a my very I'm a very loving woman she is a I very loving woman insane. hold on hold on this is my story to tell okay hey by the way she didn't say any F words okay but I that's seem to say heard. she F and said this because that's the way I felt it when she said that I'd gotten soft when she said I'd gotten undisciplined when she said that by the way listen this one really hurt she said she doesn't look up to me at this point she didn't say I wasn't doing listen she didn't say I wasn't doing better than most because I was she didn't say we didn't have a better marriage than most because we did she didn't say 
We weren't better parents than most because we were. She said, Andy, I married you. You were a project. I knew what you were capable of, and you have not given me that yet. What's the deal? Did you lie to me? Everybody write this down. How many false promises are we going to make? How many false promises does it take before the person that we tell that is going to be with us finally gives up? You know what I did? I decided to look in the mirror and I did what winners did for the first time in my life. If you want to win, just do the opposite of what losers do. Losers, they, they number one, they give away the power to change anything because they blame it on everybody else. Losers look in the mirror and they blame everyone they can find. Winners look in the mirror and they say, everything in my life, good and bad, is my fault. What's going right is my fault. What's going wrong is my fault. And every one of you right now, I realize my wife didn't admire me. My kids don't look up to me. They're hero. My team, they don't want to be me. I honestly looked in the mirror and I realized I don't even fucking like me not because of what she said she just made me really look at myself everybody write this down self mastery self mastery your goal is to be aware of yourself that's the key how many of you right now you're numb you go and drink why I can go dance I don't need to drink I need to stay elite. Everybody, human excellence. My wife deserved, and I don't, listen, if you're not married, I want to tell you this. Find someone that doesn't push you to be great, you won't be great. What I love about my wife is we both came from broken families. My wife is a hot-blooded Mexican. She tells me the truth. She does not walk on eggshells around me. How many of you want to be around people that you got to walk around on eggshells around so that you can please them? Please, no thank you. I would rather you be direct with me. So I asked you, if you had food on your face, would you want me to tell you? Well, I'm here to tell you, most of you right now, you're not living your best life. And I'm here to tell you right now, I see it. I see you. You're more capable of this. And I'm going to tell you what will happen if you decide right now to make a simple decision and get pissed off. By the way, let me tell you what I did. If you go to YouTube and you look up Andy Elliott, go oldest to newest. Look at the videos. You're going to see an old me. I got hair. I'm fat. I was making money. Okay, but watch. Watch this. I was making $2 million a year, and now we make nine figures. Please understand this is not about money. But when you get control of yourself, everything changes. And you won't know this. Most of you will never know this. Your friends won't know it because you won't carry the standard. I literally looked in the mirror. I said, dude, screw this shit. I go in the garage after Jackie tells me the truth. I work out for four hours straight. Now listen, it's like all in one workout. I'm trying to make, out, make up for four years of not working out. I shaved my head. All of it is gone. I shaved it. I was like, dude, I got to see a different person now. I didn't want to look in the mirror and see the same freaking person again. And guess what? I did. After working out for four hours, I went inside to my wife and I told her, listen, this is where all this comes full circle. This is where fitness changed everything. I owned it. Which is the hardest thing anything of you that will ever do, any person will do. I said, babe, I've let you down. I said, you've been married to the same man for 14 years. And I'm sorry about that. You should have married a new man every day. One that was better than yesterday one that was sharper than yesterday, one that cared more than yesterday, one that didn't just tell you how much they love you, one that would show you how much they love you, one that could go to work and kick ass, break records, cheer people on, be a winner, and then come home, put my phone down, and be present with you and the kids. I'm sorry that I've been in the pictures and I wasn't really present. I know I got one life and I all that up but from this day forward I hope you guys write that down from today forward I will never let you down again nor my kids down again nor my team nor my company nor my clients nor God and most importantly I will not let me down again that day I decided to do what Tony Robbins talks about all the time raise your standards. I didn't realize what a standard was. And I don't think because maybe I didn't have a mom or really a, a I have a, I have a ass 
kiss her dad. Um, you know, my dad got married to his third wife and uh, he hates onions. My dad hates onions. He married her. She cooked onions every night. It took him 10 years to tell her, I don't like onions. What a pushover, man. This is not who I am. I realize that all the experiences I've been through as a kid, I realize that all the things I saw as a kid, I realize all the betrayal, all the things, I realized, dude, that I needed to reprogram my life. I needed to reprogram my brain. Every one of you right now, you're gonna reprogram right now. I'm gonna, I'm gonna tell you how, and I'm gonna tell you this. Listen to me, this is so cool. Your story is gonna be the greatest story that's ever been told. I'm so glad that you got overweight. I'm so glad that your mindset's all over the place. I'm so glad you haven't been treating the people that you love the greatest. I'm so glad you haven't been working your ass off. I'm so glad you haven't made what you wanted to make. I'm glad you haven't changed people's lives or make enough impact yet. I'm glad you got comfortable with complacent because when you change, this story is gonna be that great. Every one of you need to know this. Leaders inspire, okay? Leaders lead by living the example themselves. I decided that day, that from that day forward, I was going to, to be a leader. And by the way, there's three levels of leadership, just in case you wanna understand and get really good at it, because I know a lot of you, matter of fact, all of you are leaders. Number one, self-leadership. Can I ask you a question? What do you look like? Okay, all of you can be attractive and good looking. If you're 60 years old, you're 70 years old, you're 18 years old watching this, I will tell you this, your number one goal is to stay alive, be healthy, and be as attractive as possible. Please don't tell me, Andy, I don't wanna be attractive, I don't really care. We know you don't care with that shitty ass attitude. You need to care. I'm 44 years old. People talk about the new um, generation being entitled. They're not entitled, we're shitty leaders. That's it. People that are in their 40s and 50s complaining about these entitled new generation. They're not entitled. We've done a shitty job. Look, dude, take your shirt off. Look at yourself. Dude, you gave up. You're freaking going to live to 80. You made it to 30, which is like 30% of your life, and you already gave up. You completely eat garbage. That's a bad example. You don't take care of yourself. You're negative. You complain. Come on, man. Like, you think they're bad kids? No, dude. We had good leaders to look up to. But our leaders didn't tell, here's what our leaders didn't tell us. My manager at 19 years old, he said, sacrifice for what you want or for what you want becomes a sacrifice. And I wanted to be rich because I hated that that laid me, the lady made me sleep on that freaking porch, called me poor, and threw me out of her house and treated me like a freaking peasant because I didn't have money. By the way, listen to me. I'm going to teach you a lesson. All of you, you can betray me. You can talk shit on me. You can, you can, you can burn me. I'm not going to stop loving. I'm not going to stop being kind. I'm not gonna stop believing in people. I need you to know something. I've been betrayed so many times in my life and every time I was like, thank you, I owe you. You just made me a better leader. Every time. Some of you right now, you're bitter inside and it's killing your heart. It's time right now to examine your heart. What's in your heart? What's in your mind? If you wanna change your life right now, every one of you, you got 60 to 70,000 thoughts going through your head a day. You want to know how to change? It's very simple. New experiences, new people, new information. Exactly what you're getting right now. Everybody, that's why right now you must write this down. Today's the day. Hey, and guess what? Get pissed off. Some of you are like, why is he yelling? Dude, I'm, I'm so thankful I'm alive. Thank you, baby girl, for waking me up. Thank you. Now I'm going to give them hell. Now I'm not afraid of nothing. Dude, I got people all the time, they laugh at me. If you guys follow me on social media, do listen to me. We're gaining 450,000. We started our, our Instagram account a year ago. Okay, we're at 1.4 hitting right now in one year. I've never paid for an ad, I've never ran an ad. Our company gets 1,500 leads every 28, or every day. We're getting 150 million views on social media every 28 days. I wear short shorts all the time. I literally have a business. Most guys wear a suit. I wear cutoff shirts. I call my own shots. Please, the world will catch up with me. 
I know who I want to be. I know the value I bring. I, I have a good heart. I change people's lives. I'm awake. I'm awake. Some of you are dead. You're, you're, you're saying, I don't like this guy. I don't care. I own you, dude. If I can stop someone in the street to laugh at me for wearing a cutoff shirt or freaking short shorts, I own you. I stopped you in your tracks, dude. I own you. Next time somebody hates on you, you know what I want you to do? If you're up here, you don't respond. I want you to think in your head, I own you. You stop, you stop scrolling to click on my shit. Oh, I own you, my greatest fan. Hey guys, what's going on? It's Andy. A lot of you leave comments, tell me that you need help. Do me a favor, I'm gonna tell you the best way to get a hold of me. Shoot me a text message right now, 918 210 0254. 918 210 0254. I'll help you with whatever you need. I got your back for life. Let's get back to the video. Everybody, listen to me. You guys are gonna find people that will be more okay with your change that you're making today than the, in, in the future that are to come with your new changes and your new story than the people who are currently in your life. Let me say that again, please. You guys have friends, family, coworkers, acquaintances, that when you draw the line in the sand this very moment, which I know most of you have already made the decision to recreate and reinvent yourself, and I will tell you, the people in your life now will not be okay with it. They, once you change, there'll be friction. They ain't going to like it, dude. They're going to say, what's your problem, man? You changed. I say, I know that was the point the whole time. Pretty cool, right? No, I don't think it's cool, man. This isn't who you are. Now you're on social media talking about this, talking about that. Now you're working, talking about money. Dude, listen to me. S stay on the path. There's 9 billion people in the world that are counting on you to become the example for them. Will you let all of them down because of some people that were a part of your past? Here's what I'm here to tell you. A lot of the people you grew up with were a part of your life for a period of time. You've matured past them. Please write that down. When you win big, it's because you've matured up. Some of you right now, you're having conversations with the wrong people. Here's what I'll tell you. Your greatest circle, your greatest friends, you haven't met yet. They're coming in the new change. Because people that you want to run with that are better than you, they're waiting for you to come up and they'll meet you there. And I assure you, going and making people happy in the past that used to be a party, and by the way, friends, family, all that, everybody do me a favor. I'm going to share a little tiny secret that I, I usually don't share, but I want to share the, the, share, the, the sacrifice, okay? Everybody right now, if you had a daughter and someone... Let's say she's 18 years old and she has a boyfriend and the boyfriend called her a bitch. If they decided a year later to get married, would you support that marriage because of what he said to her? Everybody's like, hell no. When you go home and complain about your job and you wonder now why your wife won't support you, why your girlfriend or boyfriend won't support you, it's because you complain. You made them hate that because you make it sound bad. I see this happen all around the world. So we're gonna play a game real quick, ready? Be where your feet are, all right? So in the morning when we wake up, which we wake up, which what, what winners do before the sun comes up, if you're not waking up before the sun comes up, you're a loser. You may say, I like to sleep in. Okay, I get it. If you go to bed at 2 a.m. and that's the shift you're on, I get why you're waking up when the sun's up. But when you wake up, you always hit the gym first thing out the gate, period, end of story. By the way, Everybody write down levels. Come on, come on, guys. Write it down. Levels. There are levels to everything. Some of you right now, you're like, I'm doing good, dude. How many zeros good? Nine figures? Nine figures good? Shush. Levels, bro. Levels. How's your marriage doing? Can I ask you a question? Go home tonight and ask your wifey. Say, come on, babe. Don't lie to me. Am I your fantasy? Come on. She's like, come on. Dude, if you're your, her fantasy, you know it. You feel me? Okay? You guys want to you guys want to really win your women over, men over? You become their fantasy. You recreate every day. You become the person that even they never thought that you could be. And you know what that'll do? Number 1, that'll make them admire you. 
You know how that'll make you feel? Ah, oh, so good. By the way, now you encourage them to become greater. Good job helping your wife or your husband grow. Awesome. Now your kids, what do they want to do? Dude, they're either going to get someone else's attention. Hell, this phone, this phone's going to get it. You know, hey, by the way, all of you, you're fighting for attention with this phone. So either you be really interesting to your wife, your kids, your team, or this will get their attention. And in order to beat this, this piece of crack, oh, you're going to have to be really interesting. Who's up for the challenge? Raise your hand. Come on. Come on. Come on. If somebody doesn't raise your hand, just slap them in the back of the head. It's totally cool. I think this is the right environment to do it. It's cool. I know George is fine with it, right? He's a savage. Okay, hey, I want everybody to know this, though, for real, though. Listen, from this day forward, when we go to the gym, you know what we're going to do? We're going to go to another level in the gym. Listen to me. When you exercise, you're going to go to another level. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to teach you the level right now. Everybody ready? Write this down. No phone. Wait, what? Okay, so I'm going to do it one of two ways. Okay, everybody write this down. Mental health. When you exercise, you, you exercise and work out for three reasons. Number one, it gives you more confidence. If I was fat right now on this call, I assure you my energy would not be where it's at. And I promise you, you guys would not be paying attention to me. Matter of fact, George wouldn't have invited me. It's not that he fat shames, but George is trying to find someone that's the example. And by the way, I'm going to make you the example now. So number one, it gives you confidence. Why? Because I look in the mirror and I'm proud of me. Everybody write that down. I want to be proud of me. Okay, number two, mental health. Oh my God, how important is mental health? Guys, do you want dementia? No? All right, cool, stay healthy. When you stay healthy, when you bring more oxygen to your brain, when you work out, stuff like that fights dementia. Bones, your muscles are stronger. Guys, it's the best thing in the world for you, but mental health, okay? And then, and then thirdly, so you got the outside appearance, you look it in the mirror, you see yourself, that gives you confidence. By the way, kind of helps you do a lot of other things too, because people see that they can take your word because it looks like you take care of yourself. Number two, I got my mental health on point. Number three, I live longer. Okay, I want to ask you a question. Let's, let's create a feeling of discomfort for a minute. I'm 44 years old. What would it feel like if I had a heart attack at 54, knowing that someone, some other man, was gonna move into my home with my wife and my kids. Not a chance. I'm gonna take care of me. I'm not gonna be a lazy piece of shit. I'm gonna take care of me. I don't need influence from anyone else. This is personal to me. No one's coming into my home and taking care of my family. I'm going to take care of myself so I can be around for the longest. Some of you guys haven't thought about this in a while. And I asked, how will you be different tomorrow than you will be today? How fast can a human being change? So fast. Seconds fast. How do they change? It's real easy. New experiences, we're having them now. New people, nice to meet you, right? New information. By the way, you guys already knew all this. I know you did. But somehow, you've got 60 to 70,000 thoughts going through your head a day, and most of them are negative and shit. Now, all that changes now. Here's what I need you to do. This is the secret, I'm gonna give you the blueprint. Number one, you wake up, you go to the gym, no technology. We're gonna either leave our phone in our car and we're gonna find a good gym where we can grind or we're gonna put our phone on do not disturb and we're gonna put our headphones on. You are not allowed to text, email, check notifications, look at social media, check anything on your phone, not even when you wake up until your workout is over. You say, well, Andy, I need to get on there. You're an idiot. Don't get on it. Don't get on it. You want to really have the most baddest workout. By the way, 
every one of you, until you get to know yourself and you understand where your holes are and what your problems are and you get to really know you, you can't do anything for anyone else. Listen to me, I see, I see everybody in this world right now getting lost and that's funny because I look out here and I'm like, dude, this universe will pay you guys whatever you want. Do you guys know that? Do you guys know this universe will pay you whatever you want? You know, right now, you guys can do whatever the hell you want. We're in the era where everybody's asleep. You know, it's 2024, and most people right now, when they have more resources to kill it in life, are actually complaining, whining, and getting their ass kicked. Okay? Do we need to audit who we hang out with to make sure that these are people we're not running with? Absolutely. Do we need to audit the places we go to make sure that these are places that we're not being? Absolutely. Do we need to audit ourselves and look in the mirror and see what's really going on. There's two rules to business. To me, all you guys are in business. I'm going to give you the two magic rules to business. First rule of business. Rule number one, don't ever let anyone know your business better than you. Every one of you right now watching this, no one needs to know your business better than you. Period. Rule number two, my favorite rule. Try to figure out how to kick your own ass every single day every day listen listen to me everybody write this down real quick we're gonna, we're, so we're gonna go through a little strategy write down what industry am i in okay write this down what's the top one percent earner make in my industry what is that person doing that you're not doing what is that person doing that you're not doing? Why not me? Why not you? You know why? Because every day they find their holes and they fix them. By the way, in order to live a life like that, you must be aware. Every one of you, self-awareness is the most important thing in your life. Self-awareness is the most important thing in your life. Being aware of what the hell is going on. Okay, what does that lead us to next? Number, number one, decision making. All right, here we go, guys. Everybody, you ready? You ready for your new life? Cheeseburger, grilled chicken. Bison, right? Okay, lean bison, pizza. Okay, if you can't control this, you can't control this. If you can't control this, you don't deserve that team. If you can't control this, I understand why you're slow, you don't take notes, you don't write shit down, and you don't change. Pride, ego, and entitlement has swept your mind. You think you're better than you are. The life and the results you keep saying that you want will never come. You know why? My good friend Tim Grover says, winning doesn't recognize you. You gotta turn winning on. Some of you, I treat winning like a spirit, right? Like, like it's there in the corner and it's looking at you and it's like, dude, I don't recognize you. You're turning me off. You can't make good decisions. You don't talk positive. You can't even master your mouth. Why would I give you success? Success doesn't recognize you. you okay, guys, so write down a couple things. I'm going to give you some good, by the way, I'm big on writing shit down. The reason why is when we get off this call, we get off this, this training, I want you to go back and look at everything. Write this down, master your mouth. Oh my God, so important. What comes out of your mouth lets me know what's in your head. If you can't master your mouth, Okay, you can't make it to the next level of life. I said levels. Remember when I said going to the gym? Okay, most people are in the gym. Look at them. They're on their phones. They're not even working out. They, by the way, does, does anybody know how to grow muscle? Does anybody know how to grow a muscle? You tear the muscle fiber. Okay, that means you must do the work. You must tear it down. You can't tear it down when you got technology. By the way, you know mind to muscle? Have you guys ever heard that? Okay, like everybody do me a favor. I want you to just think about this. I want you, I have no weight in my hand. I'm not, I'm not lifting, I'm, I, I don't have 50 pounds, no weight. And I just squeeze it as hard as I can. 
this is called time under tension squeeze it all of you guys can do the same thing and then you let it out okay see how slow I'm going see that it's like three seconds there and then back in for three to five seconds if I did that 10 to 15 times with no weight with mind in my muscle my muscle would grow you can't grow a better body and change your body without your mind being absolutely focused where you are when you go into the gym and you pull technology out you ruin your mind you ruin your workout you're wasting your time it better be on do not disturb every one of you you owe me for that one I just changed your body okay now food super important the science of the body is in the science of the food you guys all know that right well every one of you shook your head and you said you know it so you know what to do but you don't do what you know hmm shall we all take our shirts off and see who knows the most no a lot of people don't like to do that a lot of folks clothed up today guys my name is Andy Elliott okay I have a sales training company I started in sales and I find myself I love sales I could talk about closing objections all that stuff I love all that but I find myself talking about fitness all the freaking time and George is like bro like talk about some fitness I'm like but I'm a sales trainer and you guys I know but you don't ever talk about sales and I'm like yeah dude I actually talk about coaching and sales on my platform but when I'm with people all I talk about is fitness every time someone comes up to me and says they want to change their life I automatically go to fitness do you know why because it made the biggest impact in my life you know I realized for a long time that my wife wasn't my best friend I thought she was I honestly was so freaking delusional and I think that's good in sales but it's bad in relationships some of you right now um, you're delusional like this you think that your family's proud of you and they're not can I ask you a question and I'm not I'm not being disrespectful I'm not cutting you down I'm giving you the cut I'm giving I'm giving you the truth so that you can wake up today and not die with regret, regrets some of you will be sitting on a bedpan one day saying I wish I woulda I wish I coulda I'm waking you up today my wife and I you guys know my wife's my greatest teacher because I keep talking about her but imagine dude when when she married me how many of you are married raise your hand okay good lots of married folks when when your wife or your husband married this goes for women too so women listen up okay because this isn't about men I know I've talked to the men I want to talk to by the way I want to talk to women about, about something here in just a second it's really important to us men but when I look when I look in the mirror and I think about who I was the day my wife married me I sold her on a dream that if you choose me I'm gonna take you on the ride of a lifetime <laughs> I'm gonna give you so much success it's gonna be stupid and I took her on the opposite ride how many of you right now you're taking your family on the stagnant ride the complacency ride okay they could have all that you could want to give them but they can't get that because you ain't changed and you're asleep I want to tell my women something M women listen up real quick okay I'm gonna tell you how a man operates real quick just to let you know I'm gonna train you number one who my wife tells me I am is who I'll become just so you're aware so do you, do you guys want the greatest men that ever existed here's what I'll tell you if your man had the choice to take a million dollars cash or for him to hear out of your mouth looking into his eyes telling him that you're proud of him he would take that listen I know I know it's funny because people are like nah dude I'll take the cash I'll take the cash no you wouldn't no you wouldn't man you wouldn't have married her okay I promise you this guys listen to me when our women tell us who we are how proud of us they are it makes us dangerous and we cut the leash so ladies are you ready I'm gonna talk to you about my wife for a minute because this is where she went right with me 
So I didn't pay attention to her. By the way, I was doing better than most, but not to my standard, not to our standard, our family standard, okay? I wasn't taking care of my body like I should have, okay? I wasn't doing a lot of things. I made false promises, a lot of them. Hey, babe, okay? Men, you ever heard this? Ladies, you ever heard this? Hey, babe, give me three years. I know our son Ian's only three years old. Give me three years, babe. Trust me blindly. I'm going to work in the dark. And in three years, Ian's going to be six, and we're going to be ahead. And I'm going to get you that big house. Just trust me. And shit, he's six years old. Three years pass. Ain't nothing freaking changed. Some of you know exactly what I'm talking about. Now, Jackie and, and me, she, we made a deal together. It actually was her deal, but we made it together because I needed this. That we would fight not to win. We'd fight for resolution. That Jackie would talk to me as in the future truth. I don't know if anybody watches Patrick Bet David, but Patrick Bet David talks future truth. That means, he says, I don't care who you are right now. What I care is what are you capable of becoming? And whoever you're capable of becoming, you're going to act like that person right now, talk like that person, walk like that person, become like that person, believe like that person, and you are going to operate as that future truth person. It's a lie today, but soon it will no longer be a lie because you will be that person. My wife, when I told her when I was out of shape and I was not being there with her and the kids and I wasn't doing things right and I was lost and I wasn't being where my feet are and I was f***ing around on my phone and, you know, like, dude, I'm just conforming to society and I'm being like everyone else, which is not me. I'm a one percenter. I don't, I'm not like everyone else. She never talked about the past Women, I need you to understand this. If you want your man to change, give him the opportunity. Please stop telling him what he did yesterday when yesterday's gone. Please stop telling him what he did three years ago. Listen, if you're with somebody in the crowd, if they cheated on you, forgive them or get rid of them. But don't live in hell anymore. When my wife told me, which triggered me, that Andy, and by the way, Another thing she said, by the way, who can relate? She said this. She goes, Andy, we've learned to live without you. You're always at work. And when you're at work, you want to win. And I love that about you. I love that you're a winner. But when you come home, you're not here. Your mind's still there. Can you be here with us? She goes, Andy, we've learned to live without you. So that we've learned to live without you conversation really hurt. You're fat really hurt. You're not playing your best, really hurt. Our son doesn't look up to you as our hero and our daughters, that really hurt. I don't admire you, really hurt. Our team doesn't want to be like you, really hurt. But you know what I did? Looked in the mirror and I realized that all of it was the truth. Damn. All right, so what do we do? Whine, complain, or go to war? I'm here to tell all of you right now, go to war. I've been having people bet against me my whole life, but I'm not letting my family down. My wife married me. She proved she was committed to me when she said yes. I don't need her to prove to me that she has my back. I know that she does. I just need to be the freaking person. I don't need her to do anything. I'm the leader of the house. I need to step up. I just need her to support me in this new change. And boom. I went to war, I went to the gym, I put my phone down, I got rid of technology, I got mentally healthy, physical, mental, business, I got physically fit, mentally strong, blew it up in business, and now people all around the world are coming up and they're saying, dude, how can I do what you do? How can I be just like you? Dude, how can I get those results? Dude, how do you have so much energy? I say, dude, how could you not have this much energy? Bro, there's people today in the hospital that are breathing their last breath, and I'm healthy. I'm not disrespecting God anymore. Okay, I got one life. Everybody, make it count. Do you need to be reminded again? Write this down. Don't wait for something bad to happen before you give your best and change. 
Some of you right now, listen. Hey, dude, I got to say one more thing before I get into that. My wife, when, when she told me all these things that I needed to change, I want to tell you something I did because I think, I think this is really important. This is important part of this puzzle. I, I go and I spend all this time with my family now because I'm like, dude, I got to be a good, a good person with my family and I got to be there. And then I stopped working. <laughs> I stopped working. And my wife, she goes, dude, you 360'd everything. Now you don't work. She goes, I think that sucks also. Now, now you don't work. You're a loser. And you're here with us all the time. She, and, oh God, write this down. She said, Andy, who trained you to be one dimensional? Who trained you to believe that you couldn't get it all? And that's the message today. You can have the best marriage in the freaking world. You can be on fire. You can be marriage millionaires and be rich without even a dollar because you have the best relationship in the world. Make sure that happens at this point moving forward. You can be with your children if you have them. Be their hero. Listen to me. Don't tell them they can do whatever that they want. Show them that you're doing it and that you're capable of getting whatever you want. Whatever you want. Watch mom and dad. Watch us. Watch the way we live. Everywhere I go, every single time I go in the mall, I got 200 people running up. Andy, let me take a picture. You changed my life. My kids see this and go, Dad, Dad, Mom, you guys changed all these people's lives? I say, listen, this isn't about us. This is about the standard, guys. This is God gave us a great life. He's going to take care of us. Our number one job in life is to be the example. To teach people in this world that they can have it all. I will tell you this, your discipline edge to me, whether you'll keep your word or not, is all in your physical fitness. All of it. Okay? I'm going to ask you guys all a question. This will tie everything together. Would you guys stay in a relationship with somebody that constantly lied to you? Yes or no? All of you said no. That's why you don't like you. You keep saying you're going to wake up and go to the gym, and you don't. You keep telling your family, I'm going to get ahead, you don't. You keep saying, starting tomorrow, I'm going to eat clean, you don't. You keep saying you're going to self-develop and train, Make this the biggest year of your life, and you don't. This is why you don't like you. The hardest thing you will ever do in your life is keep your word. And if you don't keep your word with yourself, you're screwed. I've just told every one of you what your problem is. If you can do this tonight when you go home, I want you to write down your morning routine. Make sure it requires no technology. I need you to exercise. I need you to eat clean. I need you to, are you a Ferrari or a Ford Taurus? You're Ferraris. You don't put junk gasoline in a Ferrari. You're going to eat clean. Then, the people that you love in your life, you're going to make their life great by being the example. My job. And, and by the way, I love it. People always tell me, Andy, do you, are you a cult leader? Because I, like, I always like demand greatness. I say, dude, all I want is for people to go understand what the best shit in life is, is bringing good shit to their family. Can I ask everybody a question right now? Do you think your wife wants to be motivated? Do you think your husband wants to be motivated? Do you think your kids want to be motivated? Do you think they want to be in a good mood? Whose job is it to bring that to the home? That's my job. When I go to the house after the gym, it's my job to bring good shit to my family. It's my job to set the tone for my family. It's no one else's. How many of you are setting the tone for your family? Daily, hourly. So 
From this point forward, rule number one, no lying to ourselves. No more false promises. Don't you ever say you're going to do something again and not do it. We're going to become human specimens. Everybody write this down. Body recomposition. We are going to adjust everything in our body and, and like art. We are all artists. We are going to create art with our body, with the way that we walk. People will know our discipline edge. People will know we keep our word. People will see our transformation and they will be inspired. Do you want to inspire people? Then do it. By the way, don't you even make a freaking promise if you don't mean it. But I will warn you what will happen if you listen to this last hour of advice. You've just changed the entire bloodline of your family. Winners beat losers and legends beat winners. I will tell you, this is the year if somebody gets in your way, rip their throat out. Not by harming them, by winning. I want you to win so big this year that literally they don't even put you in the same category as everyone else. I want you to take your life serious because only serious people make it. I want you to take your wife, boyfriend, girlfriend out on two dates every week because fun is not a luxury, it's something you're supposed to do. That's why they're with you. I want you, even if you can only get 20 minutes a day with your kids, I want you to make it count. Put your phone down and make it fun. Make memories. Because in the last 30 seconds of your life, the only thing you're going to remember is the memories you made with the people you love. So, I just want to tell you guys, if you see passion, do you guys see it? Yes or no? Well, when someone is dead and they wake up, they're pretty excited about it. I want all you guys to think right now, if you had, okay, one month to live, what would you operate like? Would you run around and whine and tell everybody how shitty that was and make everybody feel sorry for you? Or would you live the greatest life you've ever had? And would you show and inspire everybody around you? I want you to write this down, infectious energy. What does infectious energy mean? Infectious energy means this. That when you get in front of somebody, when you are around them, leave them better than when you found them. Leave them better than when you found them. I want when people, when they're around you, I want them to have a life change because you're with them. I want you to be so positive, master your mouth, believe delusionally that everything that you think is going to happen, which is the law of manifestation, that it will happen. And I want everybody that's around you to truly be different for the rest of their life because of the pep talk, which it really wasn't a pep talk, it's just the way we live, was so powerful. Are you guys all capable of this, yes or no? Yes, 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 yes. Do you think your families need this, yes or no? Yes, yes, yes. Can I ask you a question? Did everybody learn at least one thing on this training, coaching call? Speech, whatever you want to call it. Did you learn at least one thing and you can find one hole in your life in which you can become a better person? I want you guys to do me a favor. My Instagram is official Andy Elliott. I would love every one of you as you recreate, as you reinvent yourself, as you change your life, I would love for you to tag me on that journey. Show me. My wife always says, I say, hey baby girl, I love you. She's like, save it. When you come home tonight. You make me sound so mean. Show me. My goodness. She's not mean. I show him a massive. Hey, I'm talking about me. He hey. just makes me sound so mean. She's the greatest woman alive. Okay, listen. Hey, this is my story. Hey. Yes, I will I, tell you a story next time. Yes, I love you guys. Have a blessed day. Appreciate you. Hey guys, I just want to tell you, you're the true one percenters. You made it till the end of the video. Do me a favor, share it with the friend that wants to go to another level. Make sure you like the video, comment below so I know who you are. Set your notifications and then subscribe to the channel. We got daily sales training videos dropping. I'll see you soon.